In this problem, we have a tank that has pure water entering at 7 liters per second. The tank has an initial concentration of 150 kilograms of salt in the 1,000 liters of water in the tank. The water is leaving at a rate of 7 liters per second, so the water level is always constant. How much salt is in the tank after 60 seconds? Assume the tank is being mixed consistently. So we need to lay out the differential equation for this problem. First, we are concerned with the change in salt, or delta of salt, over the change in time, or delta of time. This is denoted as ds over dt. Next, we have the flow rate out of the tank, which is negative because it is being removed. And finally, the concentration of salt at a given point in time, divided by the volume of water in the tank in liters. So now, to solve the differential equation, we must use algebra to separate the s variables to one side, and the time and constants to the other. Now that they are separated, we can integrate both sides of the equation with respect to the delta or changing variable on each side. Using the reciprocal rule and the constant rule, this yields the natural logarithm of s equals negative 7 liters a second divided by 1000 liters times time. Now we need to eliminate the natural logarithm on the s side by taking e to the power of what is on both sides. This yields the following equation. S, or salt mass in kilograms, equals the C, or constant, which in this case is the initial mass of salt, times the Euler constant, or E, to the power of negative 7 liters per second divided by 1,000 liters times T, or time. So plugging in our initial mass of salt of 150 kilograms and our time change of 60 seconds into the equation, we get... 98.56 kilograms of salt after 60 seconds in the tank. Poll update. This marks one more for calculus. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.